I took Doc Severinsen from, Carl Severinsen was his name, I took him from Charlie Barnett's band and brought him on staff. And uh, we had two scales at that time. We had a sustaining scale and a commercial scale. And the price difference was maybe, uh, I'll say, 30 or $40, but the dollar meant something then. And uh, I tried desperately after Carl came on to get him a job on a commercial, put him on a commercial basis and not play sustaining, because sustaining that meant you worked Sunday morning and played church music or Christmas music, you know. And uh, I said, I'll never forget, I sent him to the Como show and the next day, Como calls me, nobody, he called me. And he said, I don't want that fellow back anymore, find me somebody else. And I couldn't figure out what the hell had gone on, you know. It was nothing, Carl, being Carl was reading the funny papers. He didn't have anything to play. He had the funny papers, and he didn't laugh at Como's jokes. And that was a no-no. You had to react to the star.